everybody happy wednesday it is i think um i'm doing this as today's vlog and today is the 13th so the day before valentine's day hope you're all having a great day so today's episode or vlog we're answering some questions from you all so i have a awesome subscriber i think her name is d um her youtube username is d light full co and you can see her comment pop up on the screen now and she asked okay question time for us new subscribers or subbies tell us how when you got started in crafting who has been your mentor and where do you find yourself getting your inspiration does your mom or mama go to events with you what is your goal for the next five years and I was like holy cow when I read this on my phone I was like I gotta do a video about it because there's no way that you know these are great questions so I just had to do a video about it so um, let's start out with the first question who has been your mentor and where do you find yourself getting your inspiration? Well, D, um, who's my mentor? I don't really have a mentor. I talk to a lot of people though. I talk to a lot of people about just like, you know, crafting in general and blogging and stuff. Um, uh, I know Megan, Elizabeth, I know we're really good friends and she's really nice. Um, she's always been so helpful. Um, there's not really that many, but there is many I just talk to. So, um, just just in general uh blog post i read a lot of articles and stuff so stuff like that and if you see the shadow right here i'm working on getting this away i only have one light now but i'm getting another one and that will be that'll be done but anyway um the next question is does your mom or mama go to events with you my mama does not go to events with me the only thing that me and my mama really do is go to walmart together I mean, she comes over here after, like, we go to Walmart. She comes, gets me, and I go to Walmart with her, and, um, I've, she always liked me going to Walmart with her, so I started vlogging there, and a lot of you all at home really enjoy seeing my mama on these vlogs, so I'm like, we can make it some fun, and then, of course, I can look back on it years from now, and it'll just be a lot of fun, so I really enjoy doing that series with my mama. It's something that me and her can do together, and enjoy it some days that she's into it, some days she's not, and I have to edit so much out of it. But anyway, um, my mom does go to all my events with me. I've never been to an event without my mom. I don't know where I'd be without my mom because, you know, she takes me to all these events. Granted, she does sit down most of the event and just play on her, uh, on, well, it's actually my MacBook Air. This is actually my MacBook Pro. But she, I let her use my MacBook Air since I only use it when I'm, like, traveling really fast, like, you know, other times that I'm not using these computers so she does go to events with me and what is your goal for the next five years wow five years is a long time um I've really I don't know before I go to that question I never answered where I find my inspiration where do I find inspiration I think I find it more honestly in you all like leaving comments and stuff you all do not know how much that means to me like literally literally i'll be honest with you i'm a person that uh goes off of feedback and if i really just do this all for you i mean before i started crafting and before i started doing videos i did things on and I would just stop, and after two weeks, you know how kids are. You start something for like two weeks, think you're really into it, and then you just let it go. Well, that's how I was, and my mom thought that's how it would be with me and crafting and stuff. But it turns out I wasn't like that, and it was because of the people on YouTube and just the videos, and it's just so fun. So it's you all. It's you all at home. That's what a lot of people might not realize about these video makers is that they live off of... Um, you know, the watchers, the viewers, and the awesome YouTube friends. So that's how a lot of YouTubers do. That's I think that's a little secret that you all might not know about a lot. I'm not going to say all of them, but a lot of YouTubers are like me about that. And how did I get into crafting? I've always been crafty. Looking back, I've always been, you know, something, somebody to make things. I've always you know, enjoyed it, and my mama would always take me to Hobby Lobby and, like, let me spend, like, $20 every time I would get a good grade card, and I just, and back then, when we did that, it never really thought about doing the tutorials and stuff, but I did have some stamps, and I was sort of, I was sort of into it, but not really, and then my cousin, um, was a Creative Memories, uh, rep, and my mom did some scrapbooking events with her, and I, I sort of liked what she done, and I did it, too, for a one time or two, and I really enjoyed that, and my mom ordered some stuff from that, but that didn't go last long, and then I got a Cricut 
from my friend well my friend Kira's grandmother had one and Kira made bookmarks with it and she sold them and sort of you know did that and I wanted to do that because I'm very entrepreneurish and I wanted to do that in fifth grade so I ordered a Cricut off of um, HSM and it wasn't like on HSN, it was on their website. But um, I really had this room downstairs. It was being built while I got into this. So I wanted a big projector. You know, this is going to be my big man cave and everything. But I honestly changed my mind from getting a projector that was $4,000 to getting this Cricut. And, you know, the Cricut Expression, it was really great. And my mom ordered me a lot of stuff from that. She thought it was a waste of money. But I wanted it, and you know how you know how moms are. So <laughs> she ordered a lot of stuff with it, and I started doing the videos. It's just a fun thing. I'm going to link on my blog to the for my first video because I've been going back for a few weeks and looking at them. They are so hysterical. I'm laughing at myself at how awful I did. But that'll be a link on my blog. But um, anyway. So I started doing the videos and I didn't really know what I was doing. I knew what I was doing with making the projects, but I didn't really know the best way to record it. And I didn't really know editing. And I didn't know as much as I knew today. I think I could have grew a lot faster and more if I knew what I was doing to start with. But I think that's the joy of it, that you started something that you love for a hobby and I've sort of turned it into a profitable business so I think you know learning from those mistakes has really made me the person I am today and I really like that so um but I think I could have reached a lot of people because there was a lot of people watching my videos when you first start you know you're that new person in the industry or I wouldn't say industry just yet but in the new person and you know people find you very interesting so that's a tip if you're going to start doing videos um make sure you either know exactly what you're doing or be ready to laugh at yourself and be ready to make mistakes because you are not going to make it perfect your video is not going to be perfect and you just got to realize that i realized that but i love doing it so i kept on doing it and i keep on doing it and i get you know there's just so much stuff going on but i keep on doing this because i just love to do it so um what is my goals for the next five years wow so what are my goals? I really want to grow my vlogging channel as a thing to me. I really want to grow my blog. My blog and my vlog is really something I want to grow. Um, I really love doing stuff like this and I really hope I can grow, you know, it's following with it because I really love doing this. Um, I wish I do have a following and I'm very grateful. So when I say that, don't get me confused that I don't think I have a following. It's just, you know, I want to grow it and expand and make so many more friends out of this whole process. Um, I want to be able to do something more in the industry. I want to work with more companies. I want to... Um, in the next five years, I want to get my driver's license, you know, I hope I can pass that. Uh, I really want to, you know, sort of be able to represent something, sort of like a spokesperson type job. I don't really know exactly what I want to do, but I really want to work at something and put my name with it and work towards it and just be so, just work with something. I just want to do, use something I love and just have fun with it. I just want to have fun and teach people and just have a lot of fun and you know enjoy it and make sure that you all at home enjoy my videos as well so for my five goals five year goals i have no clue i have no clue i think it's the same the stuff as normal i'm always doing new stuff uh possibly getting more into television top uh finding ways to doing more of that i'm actually I think I can tell you all. I'm going to be on our local news thanks to Margaret Potter at margaretpotter.com. There's a, we live in the same area and she has a DOI on the fly segment on our local news and she's got me on it. So, um, thank you, Margaret or Margo. I never knew how to say your name, but I think I knew it at CHA, but I lost it. So I don't really know what my goals are. I just want to you know, become more me, and I think I, at CHA, my first year at CHA, I'm just going to do a rambling video about this because I love it so much. Um, at CHA, at my first CHA, I was sort of new, and I was meeting people, and my mom was still sitting the, down, and I was all alone with no one, and that was only in 2011, or 2012, at the first of 2012, I was going to CHAs, 
and I was going alone just by myself so at the first CHA I was just getting you know used to it I met up with some people pretty much no one I didn't know anyone and looking back on it now I don't think I could have done it but God gave me the strength to do that and it sounds so weird but I don't even know how I done it because if you've ever been to CHA imagine it you being 13 and going all by yourself not knowing anyone and just talking to people that you don't even know. Um, by my second CHA, the summer show in Chicago, um, Megan Elizabeth actually let me work at her booth some and do some demos there. And I was sort of alone. I walked around by myself again. And, but I knew people then. I knew people. So I sort of had a lot of fun with that. And I met up with the people at Faith Crafts because by them I was doing videos for them. And I sort of got in with Faith Crafts. And they are really awesome as well. And by this winter show, I, it was so, it's so different. I am just out of my shell. I'm totally me all the time. It is so much fun. Um, you know, if you all seen any of my CHA pictures, I'm like, I just have so much more personality in me this year. And my mom and everyone's realizing it. And I'm, it's so much more fun, fun having like my friend Court there and walking around with her and just being so much more me and opening it up and, you know, starting my brand and building my brand. And, you know, people, I hope that a lot of people know that I'm not as crazy. I am a crazy, awesome, wanting to have fun person. But when I want to talk business, I can talk business. So I'm just more myself and, you know, having fun and um, just, you know, being myself. And I think that's what everybody should be is their self. And nobody should be talked down about their self because they're their self. I mean... Who else could they be? And everybody has their problems in life and everybody isn't going to be perfect. So just remember that. And I hope I answered your questions, D. And thank you so much for leaving a question. If you have a question for me, leave it in the comment section below because I want to hear your questions. So very bad. I've been wanting to hear questions all this time. So leave me a question. Email me. Whatever you want to do. Hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching today's vlog.